So now that you know what Repeat Grid is, I'm going to show you some basics as to how you can use Repeat Grid to create new designs very quickly. Okay, so building on our Repeat Grid basics, I'm going to show you one of my favourite elements of Repeat Grid because I think it enables you to really play around with the design, but with... Because I think it really... So I think it really enables you to play around and be experimental with your designs, but with good data in place. So I've just brought in an element from my Sky UI kit, and I've made that a repeat grid element. So I'm just going to use that handle to drag that content down. And then I just want to change some of the content of that. So I have a folder of images here, and I can just simply change that out for the photos that I would like to highlight in each of those. Now, we would then go through and change the titles as well. And you get the idea. So say we had correctly changed all the titles and we've changed the section headers for each of those elements. What we then can do is start to experiment with the design, and this for me is something that I love to do with Repeat Grid. So we could then decide, actually, I wanna try and experiment with what that looks like if I was to change that to sit further over here, and I'm gonna make that a lot larger and have that span over here a little bit, and I wanna change the background fill to something really quite garish. <laughs> um, you can do that very, very quickly and experiment with your design. And that for me is a real game changer. Now, taking it up a notch, here's something else that we can do, which I think you're gonna like a lot. So say we're trying to make a image gallery, for example, which is quite common within apps. So I'm just gonna create a small rectangle. I'm gonna take that spacing down to 10 and then just repeat that down the page. Let's have that, that's enough. And have the same spacing. So I'm just gonna align that to the center of my document, and then I'm gonna open up that folder of assets, and I'm gonna select a bunch of photos. And this is one of my favorite things, <laughs> because it just feels like magic. Just grab all the photos that you'd like to drop in and then simply drag everything over to your peak grid element and there you have a gallery straight away. This historically would have taken so long to populate and get the spacing correct, but it is quite literally a two second job with repeat grid in XD.